Hi, I'm Daphne from Daps Makeup, and I'm here to give you the quick tea on luxury makeup. And today we're going to be talking about the new quad from Guerlain. It is the Summer Jean number 518. Now, eyeshadow is usually my favorite makeup product to buy. And for some reason this year, I haven't actually been buying that much eyeshadow palette. But once I saw pictures of this online, I knew I wanted immediately the day it came out in the US, once it became available, I put my order in right away. And thank God I did because apparently it sold out on the day that I'm filming. Hopefully it'll be back in stock. But while everybody, anybody who's waiting to try to figure out if they wanna get it when it restocks, I'm here to let you know what I think about this palette. So obviously the first thing, the major thing, the reason why most people want this palette, why I wanted it, is the packaging. Who are we kidding, right? This packaging is gorgeous. It is truly a fabric uh, material that's on here. Um, it's gonna be hard to see in camera, but these are raised in texture so you can actually feel it. Um, so the detailing of this is just beautiful. It is gorgeous, it is gorgeous. Um, and then on the back side, it's the traditional gold. Um, so normally it's all gold, um, but this one is special for this year, 2023. Not only is the packaging beautiful, but also the eyeshadow shadows themselves are gorgeous and very unique in my opinion. Um, so let's break this down. All right, so it's a quad, so we got four shadows. So we have this brown shadow. Now I will say these three, the formula is very similar and it kind of reminds me of Tom Ford wet dry formula um, where this one is more powdery, a little bit more like a matte. Um, so these are more satin like and this one is a little bit more matte like. This brown shade on my skin tone actually works great as a transition shade. It's basically my skin tone. It's a golden brown. Um, so it's my skin tone, but it has that bit of goldenness and luminosity um, that just makes it my skin, but better. Um, this blue is my favorite. Um, blue is my favorite color, and this is pigmented. You can put it on the lid with full pigmentation, or you can blend it out um, in the crease, or, you know. So that's what I love about this one. This yellow shade is also very pigmented. Um, so I love the shade. Now, the lavender, I will admit, it's not as pigmented as the other shades. Um, so it is light, but it is buildable to a degree and it, it has a beautiful finish. So it gives us more soft uh, softness to it. So it is different from the other three. It's not the same intensity, but I still like it. I, I, I'm, I actually still don't have regrets. It does show up on me, but yeah, you know, I tend to, you know, want to kind of build it up um, when I'm using it. If you follow me on Instagram, then you should have already seen three eye looks that I did. This is the third one that I've done. Um, you should have already seen swatches. So that's a reason why I'll tell you, if you're not following me on Instagram, daps underscore makeup, you should be. That's where I'm the most active. And I'll always post first before I come here on YouTube. Um, so for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I will do some swatches here on YouTube. Um, so, Oh, blue, brown, lavender, and gold. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, blue, so I'm just gonna do the one swipe without building up. So as you can see, the brown is my skin tone, but that actually works for me as a good transition shade. So I know that's not a great swatch. The swatches look great on Instagram. <laughs> So, but you can can tell from here, the blue and the gold are very pigmented. The the brown is actually because it's just my skin tone, um, so it's just blending in. But it's actually it's actually a really beautiful formula. So the lavender, so that is more powdery. I'm gonna try to this time. I'm gonna try to build it up. A, a little bit more. It, it has a more powdery texture, um, but it is lighter. It's not as pigmented. So I'll try to just build up more, but as you can see, um, but it is something you can build up, but you can see it's not to the same intensity as the other shades. Now, um, this is not my first um, Guerlain 
eyeshadow quad. My first one was actually Mystic Peacock. I absolutely love this. I made fantastic looks with this. I love the formula of this. So this is what got me into Guerlain in the first place. Um, so another, you know, beautiful, unique um, color story. Um, but the blue here looks to be similar to the blue in this new palette. So let's swatch. I have actually going to do this first time with you guys. So I'm going to swatch the blue and let's put it next to there. So very similar, you know, this is maybe a little bit more deeper, um, but similar, similar. All right. Um, and then my second palette that I got, um, was called Golden Star. I think it was like, um, their holiday collection. Um, and I will show you this one. Um, so this one, this also has a gold. So let's compare the gold in that palette. So I'm going to sort the gold and we're going to put it next to the gold here. So yeah, this is more of a yellow gold, more brighter. Um, this is more muted. Um, so there's some differences there, but that's where some similarities with previous um, palettes. I don't own any other palettes. Those color stories were more simple to me. Um, these ones were just a little bit more unique in my opinion. So these are the ones that I've, um, that I've gotten so far. Since I recognize not everybody's going to be following me on Instagram, I will show you pictures of the previous looks that I've made. Um, I will show you me applying each one of the four shades on my eyes so you can see them individually. Um, and then I'll do a little bit, I'll show you a little bit of the eye look that I did today um, so you can see how it works in action. Um, but I'll let you know with this eye look, I took the lavender shade and used that in my transition, the blue deep in my crease in the outer V. I also used it as liner here. And then I put the gold all over the lid. I didn't really use the um, brown this one. I did put actually a little bit of the brown um, underneath underneath my um, lower lash line. But this one look, I didn't really use the brown, but I did use the brown um, as my transition shade in the previous eye looks. So here's the first eye look that I came up with. Here's look number two. And let's take a closer look at this look. Now let's take a look at each individual eyeshadow closely, starting with the golden brown shade. As you can see, it's very similar to my skin tone. So it's great as my transition shade. Now on to my favorite shade, the blue shade. Look how pigmented it is. It is gorgeous. I know this is a messy application, but I just wanted to quickly show you what this looks like on bare skin. Now the lavender shade is probably the shade that most people are attracted to. So I'm showing this to you on bare skin and you can see it's not that pigmented. So now I'm applying it with an eyeshadow primer, which is what I do with all my eyeshadows. This brings the intensity up just a little bit. As you can see, it's still very light. I would call this a luminous matte shade, but you can build it up and it's actually a very pretty shade to blend with and to give a very soft ethereal look. Lastly, we're gonna use the gold shade and this is pigmented and works well on the lid and inner corner. You can use your finger to build up the intensity with this shade and the blue shade as well. Now on to today's look. Now I'm gonna use the blue shade in my crease. Look how blendable that is, it's great. And you can use the blue shade as liner as well. This shade is so versatile. Here's the final look. I think it came out really pretty. What do you think? All right, so final thoughts. Do I like this palette? Yes, I do, I do. Um, so why, number one, obviously the packaging. I mean, you can't beat this packaging. It's so beautiful. It's not weight now, I will tell you, you know, you might expect for luxury packaging to be weighty. This is not. Unlike their lipsticks, their lipsticks are gorgeous. I don't have, I didn't buy the lipstick case that matches this. I was tempted, but I didn't. Um, but their lipsticks, cases have some serious weight to them here you know i'm gonna grab a different galon lipstick case just so i can show you what it looks like to give you an idea what the cases look like so this is actually one of my favorite um lipsticks once again packaging beautiful and this actually has weight to it um then when you pull the case apart this actually 
Okay, so I'm gonna turn this way. It will open up into a mirror, which is great. So you could, as you're putting your lipstick on, uh, look in the mirror potentially. Um, but you know, obviously this is just beautiful. And then you have the lipstick component and you have that here. So, I mean, I could go back and get the case and still use it with this lipstick. This is one of my favorite um, lipstick. This is number 99 in case you care to see. I love a good brown lipstick and this is just deep, beautiful matte. I love this color. Um, so this, you know, I, you know, I do recommend their uh, matte lipsticks, beautiful. Um, but coming back to the eyeshadow quad. So packaging, A plus with that. Or maybe I'll give it an A minus because it doesn't have weight to it, but but you know, just on face value, it just looks beautiful. And then the color story for me, I love this color story, and I feel like it's it's unique and beautiful. Um, I especially love these three shades in action. I love this formula. Um, I feel like if you like the Tom Ford Wet Dry formula, um, then you, there's a good chance you'll like this. I'm not saying it's exactly the same formula, but it, it's in that kind of family in terms of how it works. This one is more powdery. There's a little bit of kickback with it, um, but you're not gonna get a lot of fallout on your eyes or anything like that. Um, it's not as pigmented, but it, it gives a, you know, this soft, you know, I also still appreciate it, you know, Initially, I might say, oh, wouldn't it be great if it was in the same formula and just gave that real punch of color? But on the other hand, like, you know, I love how it, you know, how I'm able to blend out the, the deep blue shade and, and have this ethereal um, lavender. And I, my initial look, I actually put it on the lid. I did take my time to build it up on my lid, but in the end, I still like the eye look that I came up with. Um, I love the blue shade because as you can see from my previous looks, I can put it on my lid with full impact and, and give strong pigmentation, but it's also very blendable. So if I choose to use it in the crease, it blends beautifully. This is a fantastic transition shade for me. And then a good gold. You can never go wrong in a corner lid. Um, so for me, I actually like it. Now, obviously this is luxury, so this is not cheap. It's like $90. Um, so you got to figure out if it's good for your finances but um but i i do think this is a great um eyeshadow quad so you know if it restocks you might want to consider getting it all right so i hope this was helpful for you to see these eyeshadows on my skin tone and just to hear my review and opinion um so be on the lookout for the next luxury um item that comes into my collection that i'll review for you um, so have a great day and thank you for joining me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, I'd love you to, you know, join me on my journey, um, discovering new makeup. Have a great day. Bye.